I'll be completely honest with you guys. There was so much chaotic craziness happening, especially with Veto coming in at the end there with his beast magic, um, that when he did come in, I didn't even realize the high priest son who uh, Magna and Luck was fighting, he got crushed. Like I was rewatching it during editing, obviously when I was editing it, and I was like, oh my, I didn't even notice that. He like he might be out of the count, but he hopefully he's a strong enough magic user he can come back and join the fight because I would love for him to join the fight, but Veto's coming in with a vengeance. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 44. Let me actually see what this episode's called. The Pointlessly Direct Fireball and Wind Lightning. Hmm. Oh, and the Wild Lightning, not Wind Lightning. That sounded dumb. So I'm guessing Magna... You know what's funny? Now that this happens, you know what's funny? I specifically remember comments early on my early days when we first met Magna that were like, I can't wait for Magna to have some, 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 some. And I think luck was involved. I don't remember, but with this title, some shit might actually go down. I'm super excited about this. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead. Check out the Patreon down below. It's always available to you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. It really does. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not. Join that Dapper Squad. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post my videos. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Let's hop right on into this. Uh, Black Clover, episode 44, the pointlessly direct fireball and the wild lightning. So uh, you guys aren't seeing this, but I learned in the recap of this episode, it said the priest's name, I didn't know his name, was Gifso. Or, yeah, Gifso. It's either pronounced Gifso or Gifso. I'm assuming Gifso. Damn, so this is before Veto went down into the underground temple. He was just popping off. Ooh, his grimoire looks crazy. He made a whale. He does have beast magic. Can he create, like, outlines of beast as transportation? That would obviously get him in the underwater current... Or the underwater temple and they haven't seen him before oh they weren't there how am i just now processing that luck is probably excited so he's not down for the count i'm excited by that we get to see his face too don't brag i like you come on yes that's exactly what i'm thinking let's fight him see back to the spell he was using right now sir he can make many beasts attributes so the whale goes underwater it's his transportation the rhinoceros armor that's so cool and he loves calling people m mice because he's a beast, obviously. Bear Claw. That's the attack I'm guessing he's using last fight. Yeah, he is so nasty. Oh, Geo. It's a part of his game magic. Yep, it's kind of like Hunter Hunter in that way. It has restrictions and conditions. I love those in, in anime. Lightless Slash. Jesus. So it's like a protective. If not, that's like Naruto when <laughs> Orochimaru attacks. And he can even sense Yami. Oh, this is gonna be insane, man. This is gonna be dope. Oh, 
Give him a little context so they know going into it that it's going to be a formidable fight. <laughs> Asa knows already immediately. I like I like the way the show cut off Yami so he can't come in and save the day. I like that. I like it. <laughs> For passer limits. He's just an old man looking for an adrenaline rush. Told you it was gonna be a team up. I told you. So not necessarily a team up, but at least we all have a common enemy to defeat. Every main character ever in anime shonen, you know. I'm scared, but I'm excited. I love to see this, man. I love to see this. Oh, we're not done yet. Do you think the Black Bulls, especially these two, give up that easily? <laughs> you were sorely mistaken, Veto. <laughs> Oh, look at that magic. That looks so cool. He is very fast. But is he faster than lightning? That's the real question. He was able to talk right through it. Did literally nothing. Oh, he is so quick. I love it. He's so fast, but he's not able to do a lot of damage right now. I love how Magnus is sitting here looking at this. Ooh, clean dodge with a little down kick. What's that called? That has a name. Oh, lightning barrage. That was an insane little rally right there of battle. That battle maniac, that was so cool. Ashback? When they first met? The Cheery Berserker, that's a pretty accurate nickname. So, they've been a tag team pair for a long time. Because I notice any time Luck messes... That's a cool little combo right now, the Magna Tornado. Crackling Magna Tornado. I notice any time Luck messes with someone, it's always Magna picking a fight. I love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> He's not going to let you fight this alone. Grand Slam. Hell yeah. Magnus Swing, is, that's his name for a reason. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> I love the way it separates like that. Love to see that. Luck's a very instinctual guy. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, they're both not realizing it. They've known it for a long time, but they're both admitting in this crazy situ. Oh, not even best friend. It's very first friend. That's even. Hell yeah, man. That's about. That's awesome. But it can't do anything to Vecho. He's so strong. I would love for Asa and Kyoto. I would love for Austin Kiyato to join this fight.
Those body just kind of moves on its own. That's insane. Oh my god. Let's go help our boys. Let's do it. That's cool. He can even tell that it's lightning, fire, and beast. This man is really something else. I want you to veto backstory how he turned into this fucking beastly beast. <laughs> I love when our main character inspires them. Can't act like they're as superior anymore. If this is despair. Oh, quick? Like, they're, they're making contact, which is fire. They're doing well, but they're just doing no damage. I don't know what our game plan is going to be. Lightning. Fire. This combination of magic. Everyone can even sense it. That's how crazy. <laughs> Flame, lightning, explosive, cannon. Combo magic would be so sick in this show. Oh my god. Are they gonna defeat Veto? That would be insane. It's like a fucking Rasengan mixed with a Chidori. Well, another fantastic episode, a fantastic fight in there. I, I think still my favorite part of that, though, was not the realization, like I said, but the acceptance that they were each other's first friend and best friend, because that means a lot, especially when you're joining like a squad of people that you're going to be working with day in, day out. That's going to be essentially like your new family. So that's that's big. You know, when they first met each other, they, they each have their own little inner monologue. I love that. We learned that the high priest's name was Gifso, his son, Gio, son and daughter, Kahono, and Kiato. Interesting. All end in O. Um, but I loved Veto's seeing more of his magic because Grimoire is insane. The orange with the beast claws with everything. Um, his whale used as transportation. I wonder how many people he could fit in that. It was so big. So crazy. He used that to just slam right into the temple. That must be such a strong spell. Then he used his bear claw, which is his main offensive spell. Gotta be just insane. Bears have some super sharp claws. Makes so much sense. Then he has rhinoceros armor for defense that was able to stop the, what was it? The god's hammer, water or something hammer. So cool. Like I love the implementation of the beast and how each beast has its own special utilization in nature that it's using, you know? But that is just... Ooh, 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 ooh. And I love the way, I love the reason, the original reason that Yami was out of the competition was because he's too strong and the, the numbers were uneven. So let's kick him out. Let's make him watch with the cop with the, with Gifso. So. Makes a lot of sense. He's going to sit there, drink, have a good time. But then when Veto comes in, the magic condition, he, which makes sense for Gifso, so, but he can't leave this room. He's the, he's the game master. He's the spectator. He's the referee. He's everything when it comes to that. Makes sense that he can't leave. So anyone he would encompass in this room also cannot leave. Makes a lot of sense. So Yami is stuck in here and he would have been able to break out on his own, but the spatial magic from, and of course they would come with someone in preparation to keep everyone trapped inside so they couldn't escape, which is just insane. Like I said, this is just crazy. That reminded me a lot of the Sound Ninja 4 and what they were doing with uh, Orochimaru and the third Hokage. But man, if you guys ever see me looking down, it's I'm looking at my notes to see if there's anything else I want to talk about. But like I said, just insane episode all around. Fantastic. I'm super enjoying this arc. I can see why you guys would say that. If you guys want early access, full length to this show, all of the shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon. Always is available to you guys. I'm enjoying this so much. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I will catch you guys in this next episode. Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, at Dapper Darius. Thank you so much, guys. Peace out.